The idea behind the Race to Reduce is simple. Ask building owners and operators to voluntarily benchmark their buildings. The goal is to track and reduce energy usage and greenhouse gas emissions while saving money. We're talking a lot about building the future of a city that truly works for all of us. We're proud of the work that we are doing to establish a safe city, to establish a city where all of our children have the opportunity to succeed, where we're connecting families to resources and opportunities. You know, that notion that, 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 that we're six degrees warmer than we were just in the 1970s, that's serious. And that's not something that we can take lightly or something that we can afford to not take action about. One of the things that I've learned is you can't change a city from City Hall. You have to do that in community. You have to do that in partnership. You have to do that with teammates. And that's what the Race to Reduce is about. We know that 35% of our energy use comes from buildings. And so if we're going to significantly decrease our energy use as a community, it's going to have to be about thinking about the energy use that we do in buildings. And so we set out the race to reduce, and it's been exciting to know that 119 women have responded to that call, that you have responded to that call, and said we're not only gonna uh, we're not only gonna benchmark, but we're gonna reduce. We're gonna actively reduce. As the United States says, we as a country will continue to meet our commitments to reducing our energy use in our country that we made under the Paris Accord. I'm proud of it. Thank you.